What's going on guys? Mr. Tecumseh here. This is just going to be a quick one. Um, I had someone actually ask me about this and uh, I figured I'd just make a quick video on that. This. This is your typical magneto assembly. Um, this one's for a Tecumseh. Um, Briggs and Stratton also had this same setup prior to solid state or magnetron ignition which essentially came out in 1983 so on same thing with Tecumseh in 1983 everything switched over to the modern um, solid state ignition where the coil sits above the flywheel on the outside but before that you had your breaker ignition breaker ignition is your points condenser and coil uh, to all three together on Briggs the thing it's not in a enclosed thing like this it's usually got the points sit uh, under a cover and the cam rides and opens it and closes it and the condenser is just hooked off to the side and then the coil of course is uh, under is actually on on the Briggs is on the outside so on the Briggs, uh, 1965 and up, you can upgrade to the modern uh, ignition simply by removing that old coil and adding the modern one that has the little CDI unit on it. But on Tecumseh's, you can't do that. But anyway, like I said, this is a magneto assembly. It consists of your coil, your condenser, and your points. The points are under this cover right here. Now usually what the issue is um, when you don't have spark, it's simply that you have to clean the points. That's all it really usually is. So I'm going to show them. Now this is a really dirty one. But here's your points right here. And this goes on in there and onto under the you know behind the flywheel in the center of the um, the um, crankshaft and it has a little cam with a lobe that opens and closes this but anyway nine times out of ten all you gotta do is open this and get a file in between this and clean the corrosion off the contacts of these points either that or some emery cloth sandpaper okay and you clean the contacts and, and if you do that nine times out of ten, you'll, you'll regain spark. Now, if you don't, the next best thing to do would be to go ahead and replace the points and while you're at it, the condenser. They still sell them online. They're relatively inexpensive. And then you're pretty much set and you'll know you'll have spark. The coil very rarely goes bad. I don't think I've ever had one go bad, so you don't usually have to worry about the coil. If this thing's all blown up, you know what I mean, like from heat swelled, then you might want to replace that. But otherwise, usually all you got to do is replace the points and condenser. Those two components. You do that, and then you're good to go. But I said, like I said, before you go doing that, Try cleaning the contacts on the points because a lot of times that's all it takes to bring back spark. Now, you can adjust, obviously, the gap, and I believe the gap is supposed to be ten thousandths. So when you're at your, when you turn the cam to the widest point, it'll open, and then you can loosen this flathead, and you can set the thing to open to 10 thou and that's where you want them um, <clears throat> besides that as far as you know now Briggs it's not set up like that but on these it's bolted <clears throat> on behind the flywheel normally you don't mess with where this is set okay so wherever it is you leave it and if you did move it you look for evidence of where the bolt was on both holes and what you want to do is you want to put it back to right where it was and you typically don't need to move this adjust this which sets your air gap which is very hard to do because it's behind there 
so if it's already on there set tight leave it alone if you had to loosen it or if it came became loose or if you replaced the entire assembly look for the evidence of where the bolts were and put it right back where it was okay you usually don't have to mess with that and that's it it's pretty much that simple i believe the hardest part of this is removing the flywheel and if you've done that enough times that's not even that hard but once you get behind there you just clean those points um spray them with a little contact cleaner you know and clean clean it up and then when you're after you do that take a piece of paper just to get any extra residue off and that's it it usually comes back and if not you just replace this points and condenser and she'll come back now they do sell a nova 2 ignition module which replaces the points it's kind of like a solid state i have one but i've never used it and from what i hear they're not that uh, reliable anyway and you have to kind of get the timing right with those so if you have one of these good old points uh setups they're fine you know they, they use this from 1919 you know whenever they first came out with these engines all the way to 1982 so they were around longer so far still than the current setup. And that's how that works. 